Brooklyn while a Rottweiler attacks a mother trying to save school children from the growling dog. News Channel 36 reporter Alex Reed talked to her about what happened. He's live now in Huntersville with who she's blaming for the attack. Just two homes behind me here is where the woman saw the Rottweiler approaching a school bus stop with several small children. She says as she tried to lure the animal away from the kids, something spooked it, and that's when it bit into her hand. And I'm okay. Sheriff Van Skyver rescues animals for a living and says this stray was in dire need of help. Clearly he was terrified. He was trembling and shaking and growling. She called police just to be safe in case the dog approached the dozen or so elementary students lining up for the school bus just a block away. I had just said to him, if your shotgun's in your trunk, you may want to take it out now just in case. When she and the officer tried to lead the animal away from the kids, something spooked it causing it to bite her hand. Crack, crack, pause, crack, crack. The officer reacted instantly, shooting and killing the animal. Right here where it happened. Van Skyver is grateful for his help, but heartbroken over the state of the dog. His canines were broken off, probably from chewing on the chain that he was still dragging around. And her friends are furious with the dog's owner. That person who mistreated this dog hurt Sheriff Van Skyver, a very good friend of mine, and caused the dog to be killed on a residential street just in time for a bunch of children to go to school. I hope they're proud of themselves. A lot of motion in this neighborhood about this story today. We can tell you that Van, Van Skyver tells me as soon as her hand heals, which it is expected to do, she plans to bake a cake for the officer who she credits with saving that hand. Meanwhile, officers tell me the dog was not wearing any tags, so they're not sure who the dog's owner is or where to find him. But if they do, he could face several charges. Reporting live tonight from our mobile newsroom in Huntersville, Alex Reed, News Channel 36. All right.